Hello Pioneers, I'm Mr. Michael and these are tips and tricks for beginners. Let's do this. So, you want to pat all of the lizard doggos. Well, to get this to happen, what you need to do is find some pale berries. You can find them in all of the greenery areas. Then you place it on the ground, the lizard doggo will come over, eat it, and then you'll be able to pat the lizard doggo. I look so happy. Just for quality of life, you can split stacks with right click. And if you hold the right mouse button, you can more accurately choose how much you want to split that stack by. Okay, so this one's to move around faster. So you got your normal walking speed, you got sprinting, and then if you crouch and then jump, the actual jump is faster than the straight jump speed. So a nice easy way to move around. Okay, so this one's for getting around your factory. Every single machinery has a ladder on it. So like the smelter here, you can just climb up and as you can see on the constructors as well, there's another ladder. This can be really handy when you have a lot really close together and you wanna move around and instead of zigzagging through, you can just jump from each one to each one. Okay, with upgrading conveyor belts and power poles, you can do it all without having to delete the original structure. What you do is you get your upgrade, so I've got the Mark III here, and I look at my conveyor belt, you can see that it's highlighted, I click on it, it changes it over. Okay, so we have a smelter here, and inside I have almost a hundred iron. And I'm going through and I'm reorganizing my factory and I accidentally delete it. It's okay, because I don't lose any of those resources, including the ones in the output area. I highly suggest you go explore and get a few hard drives early on, as the recipes scale to your tier level in the hub. This will make it easier to get more useful recipes earlier on. When crafting, you can just hold spacebar to hit the craft button for you. You don't have to have the mouse on it, you can move it around. So I like to just put a weight on it and go get a drink and then come back and it should be done. Now I'm no expert, but I think that the fastest way to climb up cliffs is to use stackable conveyor poles. They're pretty easy to come by and they're really fast to build. They snap to each other, and there we go, transportable ladder. Now I know I just said to not rush through the tier system as fast until you've upgraded some of your recipes, but I definitely think you should try and rush for coal power. This is because it can be completely automated with the water input and the conveyor input on the back, and you can say goodbye to manual loading. Now another thing that I think you should definitely rush towards is the power slug tree. This allows you to overclock your machines, but also underclock which will reduce the percentage of power used and you can also really balance out how many units per minute you want your materials to be made at. Also, once you've unlocked overclocking and underclocking, you can just go in and instead of using the slider, you can just highlight the number and just type in the exact units per minute that you want. Obviously you can't go more than what the machine can maximally produce, but it's really handy. So you've got yourself a lizard doggo and you don't want it to get hit by anything or killed or hurt in any way. So you've got it in its nice little playpen and it's got a nice tree and fresh air. And you want to see if it's got anything? They can still find things, which is pretty cool. Just watch out because they can also still find nuclear waste, which will kill you as soon as you pick it up. Ah, oh, who's a good boy? So as you can see, I have a really full inventory. As it turns out, hand slots don't count as inventory space because it's your hands. So I'll just fill up those and now I can carry two more things. Annoyingly, your player will still eat even if you have full health. So if you're running around while stocking up on some health, just watch that health bar at the same time. So if you're out exploring and you're not great at fighting enemies like me, you can just trap them with mergers and splitters. Just spam on top of them and it should trap them. Like, I didn't get it first time, but there we go. Aha, yes, clearly a fair fight. So it is possible to put miners on top of foundations. So to do this, put your foundations down. It will depend on the node on how many you can put down. And then you get your miner. I'm gonna use the Mark II and it will just snap to the top of it. This is because the model actually goes further down 
than just the model size. This will help for much cleaner builds for your factories. And that's it guys, thank you so much for watching, I'm Mr. Michael and please check out other videos I've done, subscribe, like and I'll catch you guys next time, bye!